Sarah Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today I wanted to address something that I have found to be a problem for myself and that having talked to some friends, Tracy, I'm talking to you, um, know that it's, it's easy to get struggly about how to keep track of all your keyword research, especially when you sell a lot of different things. So I'm going to show you first if you sell a lot of the same things and then give you a hint if you sell a lot of different things. So the way that when I'm doing my Etsy research is um, I found I sell these planners, so it's not very exciting. I would show you that. But I found this gal who said I could use her shop as a description who sells these really cool um, water bottles or oil olive oil bottles and i use one of these i use a vintage one an old um lettuce or something like that in my kitchen and uh so i thought i would do a wee little tiny bit of seo so i can show you actually how it would be done i'm not doing a whole um i figured out that i should do this video and i was doing a whole you know hour long video for a client who um had wanted a, an item, Etsy SEO item video done. But that having been said, we can do a little research and I can show you exactly how I would set up an organization system for this. So we have um, some obvious ones that come right off the bat, like factually correct, it is an olive oil bottle, right? It does have a spout. It is a dispenser. And then this gal, okay, so we need to real quick stop and talk about the fact that she has the same thing multiple times, oil bottle, oil bottle, olive oil, olive oil bottle. It used to be that Google rewarded you for having those exact same uh, keywords in that exact same order. But um, that is not something that they reward anymore. So we want to get as many different item, uh, keywords as we can for this type of bottle. So we're going to say olive oil spout dispenser uh, foodie gift. That's interesting. Foodie gift. And then let's do gift for cook. I wouldn't usually be this haphazard, but I'm just trying to get us like a nice long list of keywords. Um, soap dispenser. So we have, I think soap goes with this. Soap dispenser. Beach decor. Tropical. Kind of, you can kind of do the who, what, where, when, why off your top of your head. Florida. You know, that kind of thing. Um, housewarming gift. Okay. So now let's go ahead and do so a wee little bit of research. And we're going to go to Google. And we're going to say oil bottle. And what does oil bottle dispenser really look like? It is, it's an oil bottle dispenser. Okay, and I use a program called um, Keywords Everywhere that is going to get us a, a number. So there's 480 searches in Google a month. So we're gonna say this, oil bottle dispenser. 480 and we know that's Google we could even put a G after it right for Google searches a month and then let's go down here and it's olive oil dispenser bottles same amount but we don't have bottles up here so we need to remember to get bottles in here right um Amazon kind of where it is olive oil cruet i think it is an olive oil cruet in actuality so we need olive oil cruet right and that has 880 searches a month 
um, olive oil decorative bottles. And that has 260 searches, right? Um, you no, 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 no. Italian, so then we're getting into those. Antique, so that's fun. I have an olive oil one. Cheap, so cheap, nobody wants to sell cheap things, but I totally get that sometimes they do that. Um, we also have uh, kitchen accessories. Okay, and so I would continue to... Um, Glass, like what is it functionally made out of? Glass, decorative bottle, glass bottle decor, right? So we would find out all these different, okay? And then I would come over here and I would do this search, right? So I'm just going to put this over here so I can see it. So we would say olive oil bottle. And that gets 2,900, 2,900 searches a month. And then we have bottle spout soap dispenser. Soap dispenser. Ooh, soap dispenser bottle was a thing. So soap dispenser gets 14,800, 14 14.8K, 14 right? And then we, we could have added the bottle, and let's see how many that guy gets. Soap dispenser pump. Bottle is 720. So honestly, what I would be doing here is I would be doing this copy. I don't always do it in, um, and then do 720, right? And then we have foodie gift, Moen kitchen, kitchen sink, kitchen sink. Okay, so then we got kitchen sink. And I kind of try to organize them as I go. Um, kitchen sink. So let's see. Kitchen sink soap dispenser is 2,900. So kitchen sink soap dispenser right and so we're finding good stuff here i'm pleased with what we're doing so i would do a lot of these right like gift for do we have anything with cook gift for cooks gift for cooking lovers and the nice thing is when we do this we get them kind of in order so we would say 260 gift for cooking lovers. Then we have gift, gift for cooking lovers. 260, right? And so then I would do, okay, let's do an easy one. Beach decor for kitchen, 390. So 12,001, so beach decor by itself is 12,100, okay? And then the beach decor for kitchen is 390. For kitchen, see Google's already figuring out I'm doing kitchen searches, so now he's doing that. Okay, beach decor, beach themed wall decor. And then if you come down over here, it's going to start giving you all different kinds of stuff. So we would do just big, giant lists of things. And then I would come over here and I would say glass, soap, dispenser, glass, soap, dispenser, 
and then we have bathrooms diy to see these are this is kind of us right so we're right in the right place and kitchen so glass soap dispenser kitchen and sometimes you'll be able to follow those little trails so if we did kitchen decor let's say soap maybe I don't know if we'll get any yeah I don't I like I like to find the ones that that'll make it come up so colorful so that is colorful colorful rust not rustic not farmhouse modern modern cute boho vintage country red traditional uh, I could go with modern. That might be something I use. And then I would follow all those little rabbit trails. I have other videos where I spend hours doing just SEO. So you can see that. But this is more so that we can figure out um, numbers, right? Like, so uh, we want to figure out how to organize our keywords. So let's now go. And if we said these are going to be like our bottles right so olive oil bottles different so we have regular bottles spout and then say we have soap dispensers right and then we have gifts And then we could kind of go with decors. We could do kitchen or we could do cores. Tropical Florida housewarming gift. We need to move that up in our gifts. Uh, I do think we, I would, ha I would have a kitchen because I seem to have a lot of kitchens. Right. And as you do this, I wind up with hundreds of, so here's some more bottles. Put those up there. Um, and then, oh, there's another bottle. Put it up there. Okay. And then I always wind up with adjectives. Taking you back to school with your adjectives. So those are descriptive words, right? So it could be, so with this, this item, right? It is blue, green, blue, green. It is factually... We don't even have palm tree, right? So, I don't know. I would do a lot more searching and see if uh, beach, right? So, so you want to start thinking about, like, what is this factually? Now, even just the words we have so far wouldn't fit into, like, just what we have so far maybe would fit into a listing. But in general, if it was me, I would do this same style and on one I would have a palm tree on one I would have two palm trees with a hammock on one I would have like the beach umbrellas on one I would have a sunset with the beach right so you're doing all this research but it's in um service to being able to uh do lots of other products without having to actually keep doing that research over and over and over again right so um, there's some economies and scale in that. So what I'm trying to do here, unaffectedly, is move this over so now I can see my keywords. Okay. And now I can see my keywords. Okay, so then what I would do is I would probably go to Marmalade and I would do a search for olive oil bottles, right? And I would see what they were doing. So we already know 2900 for Google. And now we're going to take a peek at Marmalade. Uh, Marmalade is a search, is a SEO search tool for SEO. Uh, there's also another one. It's the one I far and away. It represents what actual searchers are searching for. But it does cost um, somewhere around 20 bucks a month, which for me is worth it. But um you could also use a site called Etsy Rank, which I believe is free, which will help you generate keyword ideas, okay? 
So olive oil bottles, it, um, it peaked in September of last year. We're thinking it might peak in September again this year. Um, oh yeah, this is what we're doing, right? Uh, so now we could find olive oil bottles. It gets about a hundred searches a month, we're going to say. We're always going to go on the high side because I'm optimistic. Um, and then let's do olive oil cruet, right? And then you would find even more um, keywords while you're doing this because you can come down here on the side. Hang on. It's thinking. It's thinking so much. It thinks so much. And I have my video software. I have another video saving in the background. I ask so much. So this one gets about 100 searches a month. Okay, excellent. And then we get all these extra ideas over here. And then you get extra ideas down here, like all that housewarming gift, um, uh, oil pourer. Oh, that's a good one. Oil pourer, oil pourer pourer right and so i would click on oil pourer i don't know if you can click on it maybe you can't and then i would just do real quick i would do oil pourer and i would get the marmalade number and on and on and on so whatever you're doing that is like we've done our research we're going to pretend that we did all our research we got all our numbers or we got at least some of them and then we're going to come over here and this is a site called Airtable. And the nice thing about this is this lets you make spreadsheets. Um, it is a free site up to like so many records that you couldn't, like a normal person couldn't do. Um, you can put your, like a link to your listing. You can put all kinds of stuff in there, but I don't do all that. I would just use this for this. And this is if you do a brand new table with nothing in it. And what I would do is I would change this field type to keyword, right? And so now I have this keyword, and then we're going to say, I'm going to change this type to group, right? Okay. And then I'm going to change this one to Google. And I'm going to add one more, and I'm going to make it marmalade. You make yours whatever you want, right? Okay. So now this is the cool thing. We need to set up what our groups are. So here we have bottles. So we're going to say customize field type and we're going to say single select. So they can only select one thing. So we're going to say bottles. We're going to say soap dispensers. We're going to say gifts. We're going to say decor, kitchen, and adjectives right? Okay. Oh, we don't need that one. Okay. And then we're going to say save. All right. So now we have olive oil bottle and you can do shift, shift enter, and you can just go down through here. Maybe let's try this. Maybe we could do this because we already have them done, right? Then I wouldn't do them so ugly. Ah, I just put it in a huge list. Maybe you could figure out a way to do it. I can type pretty fast. Um, you could cut and paste. Okay, so then we do this. Olive oil decorative bottles. And we would do bottles... We have olive oil cruet, okay, um, oil bottle dispenser, right? And then let's go down to uh, soap dispenser, uh, foodie gift. Beach decor, kitchen accessories, and colorful. 
I would fill them all in, right? But I don't know that you want me to type. So then we know that this is an adjective. This is kitchen. This is beach decor. Decor. This is a gift. This is soap dispensers. This is a bottle. This is a bottle. This is a bottle. This is a bottle. And then say I do this and I do oil pour. And with a normal spreadsheet, you would have to um, like move things around. But all you need to do is you need to filter this by group. Oops, hold on. We're going to sort it. <laughs> Oops. Or to sort by group. Apply. Right? And so then you have all your bottles together, all your soap dispensers together, all your gifts together. If you were going to add another one, say you were to add palm tree, and that is in our decor. And then you just, when you get done doing all of it, you just do your sort and apply, and it's going to put them all together. So for me, that is, that is super good. This is supposed to say Google. So you got to say Google. Google, okay, and then you would put your Google numbers in here. So olive oil bottle is 2,900, 20, oh, and you want to make this a number. So you can say customize field type and make this a number. And then I don't need decibels for, um, for you know, this kind of research. So we're going to make this a number two. Seems a little mathy, but... Okay, so olive oil bottles, we were 2,900. Marmalade, we were 100. Oil bottle dispenser was 48, 480. Uh, did we do, we didn't do bottles. We have soap dispenser, which we did. That had 14,800 searches. Um, food, gift for cooking lovers gift for cooking lovers and this is gifts so if you type the first letter you can pull it right up and that one we knew was 260 right and then if we want to sort it we just sort it and it'll put it right up where it belongs and then say you're doing this and you're like okay I really want to do by the marmalade number you can just move these around very easily. It's not hard to move them at all with, um, uh, there's like a little side tabby thing. It makes a little, um, like a little gripper for you to hold. And then you can sort that whatever way you want and put your things in. And for me, this is just, I find this to be very, very helpful. Um, I have, I'll show you, I have a really big sheet where I sort it, um, and I'm sorting it by, by keyword grouped by one field. So you could come over here, oops, so you could even do it where you say group by uh, group, and it'll keep them all in that little group. Like, so I would honestly add them all in and then do the group by fields because you can just um, but that is a very cool feature and then the thing that I really love about this is say you're doing a whole bunch of research and you have like she sells all kinds of soap dispensers so she knows like after a while she's like okay I know all my soap dispensers but I really want to do some more, more decor terms what you would do is you would say, okay, we're going to customize our field type. We're going to move our decors up to the top, save, and then you're going to work on this, and then you can move it back down. I do that a lot with mine because mine are in different statuses. So sometimes I'm working on my ideas, and sometimes I'm working on my in processes. So hopefully this helps. This is, um, for me, the absolute easiest way I have found to organize my keywords, which can get really unwieldy. And then one last thing 
is say you do this and you want to have all the setups done again um like have it set up so that you could just go in and change out your groups right so if you were doing um handmade clothing is another thing you sell or you sell planners you would kind of want the same setup but you wanted to copy it over without all the stuff you would just say duplicate table and then you don't say duplicate records you just say duplicate the table and then all of a sudden you have this and then you would just customize your field types and it would sort itself out for you and it would come out grouped and it would do it's it's just really really a nice program to use um so hopefully that helps tara jacobs oh i will have um links to the keywords anywhere the marmalade the air table um if you found this on youtube please like this if you um find it on my website if you want to hit subscribe i always post really good videos like this to help you with your business tara jacobson marketing artfully